The body of a 17 year old who drowned has been found. Grundy County Sheriff Clint Shrum identified the teen as Skylar Copeland. Rescue crews say he drowned after the boat he was in capsized in the Tracy City Reservoir. Channel 3's Claudia Coco has details of the search. Jason Copeland and his two teenage sons were fishing at the Tracy City Reservoir on Saturday evening when their boat capsized. According to Grundy County Sheriff Clint Trum, he says that Jason and his 16-year-old son were able to make it to shore. His 17-year-old son, Skyler, wasn't able to. First responders immediately took action when they saw Jason Copeland and his 16-year-old son on the shore of the Tracy City Reservoir. So we immediately had some fire and EMS and a police officer in the water trying to locate this young man and they weren't able to do that. They were looking for Jason's 17 year old son, Skylar Copeland, who never made it to shore after their boat capsized while fishing, according to Grundy County Sheriff Clint Shrum. It was a father and two sons and um, you know, from what with all indications, the father done everything that he could do to try to get both of those boys out of there. As time went on, the mission moved from a rescue to a recovery. It took us about three hours uh, to find the victim, so he was. Uh, we had to call a dive team from Franklin County. The Franklin County dive team used sonar technology to locate Skyler's body in water that Trump says was 20 feet deep. You know, it's just one of those things that you, you try to do everything that you can with what you've got there. Um, unfortunately, the water is just a little too deep and, and we couldn't get in the right location quick enough. Shrum says he was there the night this happened, and while his officers do their best to provide comfort, it's impossible to understand the Copeland family's loss. No matter what words you come up with, it's just it's it's never enough to comfort the loss of a family who's lost a child and a brother. Sheriff Shrum says the department is working to coordinate ways that the community can help the family. He says that they plan to post details to their Facebook page soon. In Grundy County, Claudia Coco, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.